I'm excited to have you here with me and to share with you what YouTube paid me once I was monetized. I also want to encourage you to never give up. It may seem like you've done tens or maybe hundreds of videos and you've not gotten very far, but you are getting there and you will make it if you just continue to go and go strong. I want to share with you what the YouTube Partner Program is and what it was when I started. It was 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Now that might seem like a lot to you, but once you get going and once you get rolling, once you get grinding on what you love to do, it won't seem so bad and those hours will start to begin to go quickly. If you have friends, family, anybody who can help you watch those videos and not watch them so you can become monetized, but watch them because they love you and because they genuinely want to watch them and they care about you. The hours will go fast. The subscribers sometimes will take a while, but you have to build up a base and that may take the 365 days that they give you to earn that. Once you attain that thousands subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, YouTube will review your app application and they will scare the heck out of you by saying that it could take six to eight weeks. In my circumstance, it took about two days and I was overjoyed that they accepted my application to the program and I could not believe that. I, I thought I was going to have to wait two more months and it was two days and I was accepted into the program. So don't worry about that once you get to that spot. I started March 23rd and was monetized on July 23rd. I know that seems rather quick, but I built up a following fairly quickly. I got a lot of views from a lot of people that weren't even subscribers of mine and my videos were long and so my my watch hours began to accumulate quickly and so i was monetized in not very many months it didn't take me the whole 12 months to be monetized but others it may take the whole 12 months and that's not bad don't give up you can do it there's different roads for different niches and you never know how long or short it's going to take. And that's not necessarily an indication of how successful you're going to be afterwards either. So just put that in the back of your mind. If you look on my YouTube, it says I started 10 plus years ago, 10, 11, 12 years ago. Well, I have three videos on there that I think I've since privated that have, I think over 50,000 views. Well, either YouTube wasn't doing the monetization thing or I I just didn't know about it, but I did those three videos, got a, quite a few subscribers at the time, and then didn't do anything for 10 years. So none of that counted towards my monetization because it wasn't within the 365 day time frame that it has to be. So just words of advice to those that have had a YouTube for a number of years and have done videos. They will not necessarily count those videos unless they've been within the last year. So depending on what niche you're in, whether it's gaming, whether it's gardening, whether it's how to, whether it's sports, leisure activities, Whatever it might be, travel, YouTube pays or advertisers pay different amounts for the commercials they put on your videos. And so I don't want that to change what you love and what you want to do, but just know that certain niches are a lot lower paid than other niches. And that doesn't mean that you're forever going to be paid low amounts. That just means you have to establish your niche, get your followers or subscribers, and then love on them. Over time, you'll get views and you can overcome that. How you get paid by YouTube? Some interesting answers to that question. YouTube puts ads on your videos. They even put ads on your videos before you even get monetized. So they could put ads on your videos and you don't get paid a single cent for that. Well, that might seem kind of unfair, but it really isn't because YouTube has specific guidelines 
that they need you to do in order to become monetized. And so as long as you follow those monetization guidelines, at some point, once you become monetized, YouTube will pay you for advertisers to advertise on your videos. How cool is that? There's ways that viewers or subscribers of your videos can also pay you. And those are by super thanks or super chat. Now, super chat has to be in a live stream, which I haven't done a live stream yet. So I haven't had that opportunity to have someone pay me that way, kind of like giving a tip, but a super chat, like for instance, now, if you feel like you're getting valuable information, you can click that super chat button and give me or your favorite person to watch a donation. And that can go to say their three-year-old kid, and their six-month-old son that like I have, you know, everybody has family or if they don't, they have to provide for themselves. And so I encourage you to use that super chat to thank those that bring value to your life and help you in what you're trying to accomplish. And others will do that in kind. Membership is another one. Now YouTube, even if you become monetized, YouTube has to allow you to have members on your site. What that means is that if you are allowed to have members on your site, you can charge them $2, $5, $10, $20, and what you do for them is you give them special perks. Like maybe you'll have one video a week that only they can see and you meet with them. Or maybe you have a giveaway or something like that that only they can qualify for. Or special emojis or something like that. And there are other things that you'll learn you can use in your membership. Also, there's the store where you can sell. And there's my three-year-old son crying, so I need to hurry and go make sure he's okay. So I'll get to it. The store is awesome because you can sell t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, hats, whatever you want. And YouTube has stores set up already in place where you just put what you want on, say, your shirt, and then you can set the price and make 10, 11, 12, 14 dollars. And you don't have to do any of the making of the shirt, the ordering of the shirt, the sending out of the shirt. So it's it's really awesome. Now finally to how much YouTube paid me on the first day I was monetized. YouTube paid me, and don't leave the video, but they paid me 12 cents. I was heartbroken when I saw that because after all that work that I had done, I thought, if that's all I'm going to make every day, then I can't do this anymore. This is too hard of work. And even though I have fun doing it, it is still work. And I grind and I grind. And in my first month, I only made $12.26. So if, as you can imagine, I was thinking maybe this isn't for me. But as I started to develop more and more subscribers, more and more viewers, more and more of the different types of income that I can make as my income for advertisers that paid me to put their ads on my videos went up and up. At this point, it is totally worth it to do it. And so, you know, my friends and family and I laugh at that 12 cents on that first day. And that is funny, you know, but hang in there you can do it. And that's not the end. That's just the beginning. And as you begin to roll, it's like a snowball. It'll just have that snowball effect rolling down that mountain and you'll pick up steam and you can get advertisers, the memberships I shared with you, the store, the super chats, all these different things that you can make money with. Just a few tips I'll give you before I go is schedule your videos out as much as you can. Keep to a schedule as much as you can. People will appreciate this if they know that you're going to put out a video every Friday at 7 p.m. They like consistency. People like consistency. And if they like you, they're going to 
want to know when you're going to release your videos. So stay, stay true to that as much as you can. Stay in your niche. I'm in a niche where I do sports gaming. I do NFL gaming. As I started to grow my income, I thought I would get cute and do MLB, an MLB series, and nobody watched it. Nobody cared about it. None of my subscribers cared to watch it because just because they're NFL fans does not mean that they're Major League Baseball fans. Stay in your niche and don't get out too far or else you'll lose your viewers and you don't want that to happen. And like all the big YouTubers that make the most money say, don't even worry after you've made 10 videos. Don't worry after you've made 25 videos. Don't worry after you've made 50 videos. Start worrying after you make 100 videos and they're not doing something. But your first 10, 25, 50, 75, you're going to be making mistakes. You're not going to be as sharp. You're not going to be as well-spoken. You're not going to have your stuff down and able to communicate with people as well. And you're not going to know your niche as well either. And so I would just encourage you to hang in there. You can do it. If I can do it, just a family guy, just a normal guy, I know you guys can do it. So be patient, but grind and hang in there. And I know you can do it. And if you would for me, if you found any value in this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanted to super chat me, that would be amazing. But if not, super chat your favorite person on YouTube. It would mean a lot to them, to their families. A thumbs up, comment. Let me know if you like this video or if you want to know something else, something in addition to this, or if your experience was contrary to mine, I would love to hear your story. So please leave that in the comment section and please subscribe. And uh, I go by CP3EP. It's great to know you guys. I'm so glad you stopped by. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Hang in there and we'll talk to you soon, friends. Take care.